Hi students, welcome to Evolving Knowledge Channel. Ready to learn? In today's episode, let's talk about acid rain. But before we start, please subscribe, like our videos, and follow us in social media. So let's get started. Acid rain is rain that can cause corrosion and affect biodiversity. But what is an acid? Acid is any molecule or ion capable of decreasing the pH in aqueous solution. The pH scale determines which is acid, basic, or neutral. When the pH is below 7, we say the substance is acid. When the pH above 7, basic or alkaline. And pH 7 means the solution is neutral. Few examples, lemon juice or vinegar, the pH is close to 2. Seawater, the pH is close to 8 and blood, the pH is around 7 7.5. How is acid rain generated? When there are gases in the atmosphere such as SO2, SO3, CO2, CO3, among others, and they combine with water vapor also present in the air, it forms several acids such as sulfur acid, carbonic acid, or nitric acid. But what are the consequences of acid rain? There are adverse effects on the land and aquatic environments. On the land, it can damage the forests and vegetation. The soil can become acid and will kill enzymes, microbes essential to biodiversity. In the aquatic environments, the lower pH can kill fishes, and in general, the biodiversity is reduced. The rain acid contributes to the corrosion of statues and other metals. Let's learn now the sources of the gases. There are two sources, natural and artificial. The natural sources usually are volcanoes and decomposition of organic material. The sources generated by human beings will be from fossil fuels, industries, and cars, or any vehicle that uses fuel. Hi guys, we are at the end of another video. Did you like it? Please comment below your thoughts, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. In the next video, we learn more. See you soon. Bye.